Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? Um, today, I'm going, <laughs> like I don't have enough things that I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying to get ready for the new shop and trying to finish projects and stuff. Um, oh, before I talk about what I'm planning, I still haven't showed you that sweater, have I? Come on, let's go. Okay, <laughs> must step over the dog. Here we go. Do -do -do -do. Nope. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Okay, now these are, whoops, mag the magnets that I was telling you guys about. They, uh, they're pretty strong magnets. So I put those all the way down. And the pockets, I did something different. You can put your hand here, or you can put your hands in here. Here I am, the person that hates doing pockets, and I came up with that. <laughs> so, yeah, so here's the sleeves. This is all latte. It's two strands of latte. And this is um, a strand of latte and a strand of loops and threads. Oh, what's that value brand? So, yeah. So there it is. And I did my cuffs. I mean, it's a fairly hefty sweater, but um, I really like it. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. So, yeah. So that's it. That is my sweater. Okay, so. Not that I'm don't have enough to do. I um I am starting a new project. Yay. <clears throat> Needed to put that waffle stitch cardigan or the sweater aside again because I'm just getting bored. Oh, I swear to god that's never gonna get done. I frogged out one of the other ones because I just I couldn't do it. <laughs> so <clears throat> so I'm using that yarn. Uh, the Colorama Halo in the purple um, and I'm going to make a new project so I'm going to use that and I'm going to use the loops and threads um, soft classic in this purple <clears throat> what the dog is whining at me and then I'm going to use the loops and threads um, class soft classic in white <clears throat> to make let's I'm going to show this to you. Hang on. I saw that and I was like, oh, yes, please. Oh, Dave's here to get Bailey. Hang on. <laughs> okay, Bailey's often walk on her going for her walk. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna make that uh, shawl poncho thing. Um, <clears throat> it's connected somewhere here so that it kind of makes it into a sleeve. Now I made a poncho. <laughs> if you remember, uh, like my OGs will remember, uh, a few years ago I made a poncho. Um, because I, I would, had been watching the poncho lady. I hope she's watching. She's such a sweetheart. I, I love her channel. I love her makes. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a poncho and not even think about, you know, what I'm using or what stitch or whatever. And uh, I, I did it, but <clears throat> I, I wasn't overly happy with it. I mean, it was beautiful. I think it just made it too long. Uh, well, my sister stole it, like right off the hop. And I was like, okay, uh, it looks great on her. <clears throat> so I've always wanted to make another one, but not n to make it more waist length, not almost to your knees length. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to try this one and see how it turns out. Like, why not? So I figured these two are just regular acrylic yarn. And the other one is the Colorama Halo, right? So it's got that, 
that halo effect right there. Okay, so I figured that these would pair up really nicely. <coughs> Hoping. Um, so yeah, let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. I'll uh, come back and show you how far I've gotten it in a while. <laughs> Hey, yarn of bees. So I just got home from work and I got a package in the mail. Yeah, this is not, not a yarny package. Um, this isn't even a sublimation package. <laughs> this is something that I've needed to do for a while. Um, you guys probably don't even know that years ago, I don't even know how many years ago, it's probably a couple of years after George and I got together and we've been together for about 10 years. So it was a while ago. I used to sell um, Unique Makeup. The company is called Unique. And um, I used to sell their products. And I absolutely love, love, love their Moonstruck Mascara. Um, do they even call it that? Yeah, they still call it Moonstruck. Um, it, it has fibers in it that make your lashes longer, uh, without having to get extensions. Now, back then they had a two, two bottle process. You put the mascara on and then you put the, um, the fibers on. It was like a mascara mixed with the fibers. Uh, you don't have to do that anymore. Now it's once, like one bottle, which is fantastic. So anyway, I ran out. So <laughs> it's been a while since I've bought any. I've been using like a drugstore mascara and I've hated every second of it. Hated it because my lashes. Um... <laughs> okay, back up. Way back when. I decided that I was going to get fake lashes to see the difference. Those lasted about 24 hours and I took those suckers off. Um, I couldn't stand it. I could not stand it. It felt like my eye, eye, eyes were being poked. I hated it. And when I, I was stupidly um, was washing my eyes, trying to get the damn things off, um, a lot of my eyelashes fell out. So I was bare, a little bit bare there for a while. <laughs> it was not good. Um, so I started using this mascara again. And I'll tell you something, even without having the eyelashes, like having a lot of eyelashes, this mascara made it look like I did. So uh, what it did was even the little stubbly eyelashes that I had, it, it added the fibers onto that and made them look like they were normal. So ever since then, I have been using this mascara. So I, I even, I was called the lash lady and I even had eyelashes on my car. I still have the t-shirt. So anyway, um, I got it in the mail today. And I also got, and I hear a Mr. Hinchliff. <laughs> George just got home. We're going out for dinner. Oh, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. Um, so I did, back then I had oof, a whole bunch of mascara, a whole bunch of eyeshadow. And then they had little pots of powdered mascara <clears throat> and that's what I was using um I wasn't overly fond of that because if that flaked off it gets in your eyes and it was a it was a whole thing so now they came and then they came out with the mascara pot uh pods right so but the nice thing about this company is that you get to pick your colors and it gets put into a little case Right. So you can you can buy single singles, you can buy um, packs, you can put your own pack together. So that's what I did. And so here we go. So oops, this is the company. I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested. 
So here is the little the one this is one of the little cases. Okay. And it's magnetic. It's a heavy duty case. Okay. And these this is magnetic in here. And so the little eyeshadow pods go in here. And then they don't come out, right? Because they're magnetic magnetic. You know what I mean? They're stuck in there by magnets. <laughs> okay. So let's start with the darkest first. And of course, I don't have my eyes on. So these, this is some um, the Moonstruck pressed powders. Okay. This color is, oh my goodness. George. Yes. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Well, that up. Where do you have them? I just need you to read the. What do you want me to read? A tiny little letter? The color. The what? The color of the. That's oh. ingredients. Where's the name of the, the color? This says marvelous. Is that what that says? This is our marvelous ingredients. What's this down here? Moonstruck press oh, no, shadow. No, right here. What the? <laughs> Look at how small this letter is. I can't read that. <laughs> Whatever, it's this one. <laughs> okay. Let me go grab my glasses. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So this color, I think, is called Marvelous. We'll just go with that. <laughs> So, take it out of the, see, there's the metal piece on the back, and we'll open it up, and there's, oh, there's the color, it's like a brown, a dark brown, and then you take it in your little case, and you go like this, and it doesn't come out. So, yeah. Okay, so we've got that color, and then we've got, this one's called, I think this is Visionary. Yeah, Visionary. I <laughs> just realized where the name was. It's on here. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Visionary. This is like a shimmery copper color. So, uh, I can't see that. So you take that one. Whoop. And magnetic magnets right in there. And then this one is understood. Take that one out. This one's kind of a nice pinky, pinky beige, kind of a skin tone. You put that one right in there. And then this one is Dauntless. Dauntless. Okay. They have so many different colors to choose from. It's crazy. And this is like a neutral. And then you put that one in there. So there's my color palette. I made that all by myself. So, yeah, so that's how that works. And then it just makes, you hear that? It's like a magnet. Yeah. Okay, now, the mascara 
I just, I love this mascara. It's called Moonstruck. Now this one's the Moonstruck Epic 4D. Okay. Um, I haven't used this one yet. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually seen their products. So that's their brush. And then let's see if I can, I don't know if I can show this to you. You can see the fibers in it, right? Um, so I, um, I will put this on and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, you're in my bathroom. So this morning I put on mascara. I just put on like a basic, like one coat kind of thing. Okay, so here you go. Look at the difference. Can you see the difference? That's just one coat. That's just one coat of this. Um, <clears throat> this stuff, it, I mean, with regular mascara, it takes me like four coats, oh, <laughs> four coats of it to get it to even look like I have anything on. <clears throat> this stuff, it only takes one coat, maybe two coats if you, depending on how thick you want your lashes to look. Okay. There you go. I'll let it dry. Now, I don't want to look like Tammy Faye Baker or anything, but once it dries, if you want to put another coat on. Now, the fibers, what will happen is the fibers will keep attaching to your lashes. And they will make them longer and longer and longer. Right? See, there's one rogue lash. There. Ta da! See? I love it! So now I'm gonna go out for dinner. Nope. Oh. Hi, Yarn Bees. How are you today? <coughs> so, hmm. I'm at work again. <laughs> of course. Uh, in two two days, two days, I get to go and see a new chiropractor. And she's going to be doing some cranial something something to see if she can help with my ears. <clears throat> so I'm pretty excited about that. At this point, I'll try almost anything. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, I've now got a humming in my ear in this ear this is the I think this side is the issue <clears throat> so yeah when I put my head down at night I'm just getting this and I'm going oh <sighs> no 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 <laughs> and I'm also see I'm hearing my pulse in my ear so <clears throat> and now like it used to be that I could hear that when I put my head this way, now I'm hearing it all the time. So, fun times. What's in my cup? London Fog from Tim Hortons. <laughs> Feels weird doing a what's in my cup without George here. Um, so, speaking of George, George took me out for dinner. And I've been getting a hankering for ribs. So we went to Montana's and holy, this, he, he decided to get a beer 
Yeah, it was like, like a stein of beer. It was crazy. I'll show you a picture. Yeah. That's big. <laughs> and he had two. He regretted it. He really regretted it because beer just bloats you. And it just sits in your stomach and it just, uh, it's gross. But, <clears throat> but, you know. He's, he still has the kind of the mentality that he had before, like way back, where he figures that he can eat a lot, he can eat whatever he wants, he can drink whatever he wants. He's still, in his head, he's a young man, right? His body's telling him, oh, no, no. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. And, uh, oh, I'll show you my racket ribs. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> so <clears throat> anyway um i i'm continuing on with my 60s poncho thing i'm halfway through the third square and then i've got to do the fourth square and then i can put it together so i'm hoping that i can get that done today <clears throat> or get it get the four pieces done today anyway so yeah but anyway i i don't do I have any more to tell you guys? I don't, probably, but I can't even, oh, one thing, <sighs> devastation. Bailey was sitting right down here yesterday and she came back from a walk and I gave her some water and then I gave her her treat. Now I give her, oops, I gave her these, right? And oh, she heard the bag. It looks like this, right? You want another one? There okay, you go. And then don't do what you did yesterday, okay? So if you see, where is she? This is what she does. She'll put, oops, hang on. She'll put it part on the floor and then she'll eat it up off the floor, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I was working on my poncho at the time yeah, I was watching videos, I'm crocheting, and I start hearing her coughing. <clears throat> and I look down, and she's got yarn right here. I'm like, what are you doing? You're eating my yarn. I started pulling it, and pulling it, and pulling it. It was like two feet long that she managed to eat. <clears throat> and one end was here, and one end was here. She ate like the middle and so as she was eating her treat and she was licking up the stuff, she was ingesting the yarn. Freaked me out. <clears throat> Finally, it all came out. And I, at first I was sitting there going, should I be pulling on this? Right? But I don't think it got down to her stomach. So um, as I, I was pulling it really slow, and the dog treat stuff came up with it. But <clears throat> other than that, she was fine. Scared the bejesus out of me. <sighs> so now when I give her a treat, it's like there's nothing on the floor. And I'm watching her. So, <clears throat> but yeah, oh my God, that just scared the hell out of me. So, <clears throat> and so I had to cut off like two feet of my yarn. But <laughs> I was, oh God. And yeah, so be careful when you're giving your dog treats to your dog because if they're anywhere near your yarn, she didn't mean to do it, right? I guess when she went to go down and pick up the other piece, the yarn was right beside it and she just, oh God, my heart. <clears throat> so anyway, um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, when she goes for a walk with Dave, I'm going to go over and see if that guy has started packing up his shop yet. Ugh. Oh, I think I have a customer. I love you all. I will talk to you soon. Bye.